This is the all-new VW ID2, or as I would expect, that this is the Volkswagen Polo Electric or the Polo EV. But is it worthy to carry the Polo name? We'll tell you all about the details, exterior, interior, here with Thomas Nautigefühl in 4K, full screen, full length. Let's go! In the front, we can see a totally new design language. Volkswagen wants to go away from, hey, round shapes and saying like, I'm electric vehicle, more to a traditional Volkswagen look, more rectangular styling, clean German design, maybe Bauhaus style. I think that's also a good decision to bring some more true Volkswagen character back to the vehicle. What I would have wished is that it may be placed here like a round headlamp from the VW Golf 1, a Golf 1 EV design. That's my wish list actually, but Volkswagen might still change that at some point. So the Volkswagen CEO is also checking out our videos and so maybe you can put it in the comments and tell him if you want Golf 1 EV round headlamps or if you are more okay with this current design right here. And one of the most important messages for today is this will be sold under 25,000 euros. So this is supposed to be indeed a people's car. And Volkswagen means people's car. But in the recent years, they got more and more expensive. Now they want to go back to the original Volkswagen way and also sell cars for the people that are actually still affordable. Different battery sizes will be available. Soon going to talk about that. As for the length, it's 4 meters and 5 or 159 inches. That means this is the length of a Volkswagen Polo. But the interior space is supposed to be like a VW Golf offering. That also will be very interesting. 20 inch wheels right here and a very straight design line. This is the one key element. The second key element for design is that you have this very strong C pillar right here taken also from the Golf solid door handles. They went for that and not for flush door handles because I say they are not good in winter times when they move and so on and they just make things more complicated, more expensive and no one really needs it and it's also not that good for aerodynamics so they went with a lot of ideas back to the roots. The rear door handles are integrated right here. I think it's also a good solution to keep the design clean. It will be front wheel drive. Why? Also again to keep the cost low Rear wheel drive has an advantage that you have a smaller turning circle, for example, and it feels more agile and driving. Front wheel drive, they can put all the components for the electric drive all in the front and not so much in the rear. Also, the charging port and so on, everything can be put in the front. And this is just easier for the whole production process and once again brings the cost down. And there will also be more space underneath the rear seats and in the lower trunk area. We're also soon going to take a look at that. Acceleration in seven seconds with this front wheel drive. But I heard there will also be a GTI version then later on for this very vehicle. Horsepower figure at this moment 230 horsepower, more than of course than for a possible GTI version. Top speed will be 160 kilometers an hour or 100 miles an hour. And you can see this rear design is what I meant with German Bauhaus once again. Straight line cut off and this also brings so much space on the interior indeed while keeping the exterior dimensions rather small. And you can see here a very straight line for the lamps. This is more than again inspired by the older models. Illuminated VW logo here in the rear in red. That's pretty cool. And a sportier lower end. This already looks almost GTI style already. Or what do you think? I'm really looking forward to your comments about this new design language. Tell me in the comments if you agree. On the interior, which will optionally have a panoramic roof, we see a very clean layout. Modern styling on the one hand, but also retro elements here once again. That's the interior everyone would have wished for in the ID3. Now it will come for the ID2 or as I expect for the VW Polo EV. And well, the exterior dimensions are like the Polo, but the interior dimensions are supposed to be like in the VW Golf. We can see the use of microfiber. The whole interior is animal free and this extensive use of microfiber and also for example fabric on the dashboard really leads to a high quality impression and that's really astonishing because as we said this vehicle is supposed to be under 25,000 euros or under 25,000 dollars approximately and it is really cool that we can see a high class interior at that price point. Very important, back to the roots also for the user interface. There are, for example, jog wheels on the steering wheel. 
at the inside of the doors, we see, yes, indeed, four window levers, so not two anymore, like in the ID3. Once again, four window levers for front and for the rear. More microfiber at the inside of the doors and also fabric coverings. So we're also getting rid of high gloss black piano lacquer here. Finally, they're listening to the customers and not giving us what we never asked for. The seats have a very sporty look indeed, also a fabric microfiber mix, and they have this integrated head restraint style. At the same time, they look pretty cozy indeed. VW has had software problems and the current software is not that good, but now there's a completely new software also with new animations. Really nice here also with the typical Wolf style. Why not be a little bit joyful, but at the same time, this interior is not too playful actually. It is serious enough, but has some joyful elements indeed. As for the screens, on the left side you have 11 inch instruments, digital, square styling. On the right side, 13 inch big infotainment screen and you also get a head-up display. The gears are being shifted with the right stall column behind the steering wheel and you will also have a separate AC unit in the lower part where you control the seat heating, the temperature and also with a separate volume jog in the center console which can be accessed by the driver and also by the passenger. We can also see the use of ambient lighting, in this case then the blue styling fitting overall to this <laughs> Thomas Blue exterior and interior. I think this is exactly the interior we need in the modern vehicle. We have the modern elements, at the same time we have old school elements, just that we hit the right spot between a good classic user interface and also a modern offering. Talking about that, you can change the styling of the digital instruments and the infotainment system to this more analog old school styling, being inspired from the Golf 1, for example, also here with this City of Wolfsburg logo. And you can change this mode actually with this central VW knob in the middle console. In the lower console, the VW Polo EV, let's call it that way, just has also two inductive charging pads and they have this magnetic lock that the smartphones don't fly all over the place. Even more space underneath this unit. And once again, here you can see the dashboard covered in fabric and microfiber. I really have to say from these first pictures we have for you, I'm really impressed once again. And it has been a long time that Volkswagen has impressed people. And I think they are back on track with this interior. In the rear seats, again, it's not a big vehicle, but you have a lot of space and this really cool space underneath the rear bench. You can fold up the bench and then there is this hidden space, which also can be locked. So for example, you can charge your laptop in this compartment. At the same time, it is safely stored when you are away or something. In the trunk, you will have 440 liters of space. Underneath, there is another big space, for example, for these water boxes or maybe for a suitcase. The maximum space is 1,330 liters. And the really cool trick is you can fold down not only the rear bench, but also the front passenger seat. And then you have a long area of 2 meters 20 or 87 inches, like in a huge sedan. Oh, and one of my favorite playful elements is, you can once again see here this wolf animation. Yeah, why not doing that with software? Oh, he's also going to sleep at some point. We also have to talk about the electric effects of this vehicle. So we don't have a battery figure yet, but there will be two different battery sizes. Of course, they won't be too large because they want to keep the price low. Recharging, supposed to be from 10 to 80% state of charge in about 20 minutes, and I heard a 125 kilowatt charging figure. This could indeed be a problem. But I also heard that they want to improve on that. So because when this vehicle will be launched in 2025, you need better fast charging capabilities indeed. They tell us about the range of 450 kilometers, not really sure if that's really realistic, maybe more like 350 kilometers or 220 miles, because these official figures are not always very true, because they do this, you know, testing cycles which are not representing real world situations. So I think exterior wise and interior wise, this works so well. This is what people have been waiting for, what I personally also have been waiting for. Yes, maybe like a Golf 1 front headlamp, that would have been cool. Um, but other than that, I'm really amazed by exterior and interior of the car. I think this will really work very, very well. But the electric figures, like battery size, range, and also charging speed, 
I think they have to do better there. They still have some more time and uh, you know until it's finished until it will reach the market and this is actually where the focus should be going on to now. Now we're joined by Thomas Schäfer, CEO of Volkswagen. Do you want to take the brand back to the roots? Mm. Not really taking it back, you know. I always say, you know, it's not about uh, warming up the ashes and a little glow. It's about taking the fire into the future. And I think this company has a lot of fire, a lot of great stories of the past who will work very well in the future. You know? So our our DNA of Volkswagen has always been, it's it suits anybody, um, like the GTI, for example, Golf GTI. You know, anybody can drive it from whether you're a worker or you're a um, a CEO with a custom-made suit. It always looks good on anybody. And we need to get back to that. We need to get to cars that, that work globally, that are real icons in their segments. And I think, yeah, that's, if that connects back to the past, then I'll proudly do so. Will this be a car that is launched globally on all markets? Well, it's not a car for China and it's not a car for the US. It's pretty much a European um, and then non-US, non-Chinese market. Now, China is not a hatch market. Um, US, it's obviously too small for now. You know, US also developing, uh, but for now, yeah, it's going to be Europe focused. So we heard that it will be under 25,000 euros. How do you achieve that? Because at this moment, EVs are not that affordable for you know average income. How can you bring the price down? Look, the um, the key here is scale. So we scale in two directions. We have on the one side, we do on that platform four models. No? two Volkswagen, one Skoda, one uh, Cupra. And with that you have in, in enormous production scale. We also, because battery is about 40% 40, 40 of the value of the vehicle, no? the battery system, um, we have a, um, a battery factory now in Spain, close to the factories where the cars will be built. And that battery factory will produce the uh, unified cell from Volkswagen. No? We've got our own uh, power core on company. And that gives you enormous scale and uh, we'll bring it into the range that we need it for making it feasible. It's got to be feasible. It's not a charity project. This is supposed to earn money. Uh, personally, I'm really happy with the design, exterior and interior. Uh, one thing I would have maybe wished is like a true Golf 1 EV, like with round headlamps and so on. Any chance for that still? Well, not at the moment. No? I mean, this is um, a big step for us in design language, as I said. No? Like, clear lines, you know, strong stance, it's um, everything that Volkswagen stood for, like positively, um, like lines that, that, you know, connect from the back to the front and all that. So I, I think um, a great first step. The connection to the history is on the display, you know, the, 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 the interior display. That's, that's a cool touch, but going too retro is, um, is not necessarily good for us because we are, we are we're serving a broad segment um, that goes across um, people so all, our vehicles are always more neutral uh, not not extreme you know you can't have a, a vehicle that looks angry totally and you know this dividing in society our vehicles are friendly and appeal to a broader audience so to everyone I talk everyone's really amazed by exterior and interior but about like the charging facts or the, like the EV hard facts is there still something I mean what I heard is not that impressive honestly is there still something until 2025 that you will maybe improve that you it will faster charging and so on maybe even more range look technology is evolving rapidly at the moment now we are updating our MEB platform now to MEB plus that vehicle will get MEB plus um, that gives you faster charging times uh, more range and so on but it's got to be price competitive no? in, in this segment you want to stay in this and I think the values that we saw on this on the screen are very reasonable for that segment um, going forward will they develop yeah sure no? but for now I would say they're well competitive in their segment and also something that's really important to me um, with you as CEO, will all cars remain animal free on the interior? Yes. Yes, it's uh, you know um, sustainability and you know having broader responsibility is super important to us. You know? and, and I always say what Volkswagen does and where Volkswagen looks, the world looks. And uh, we have a role to play in this, and I think this is the definitely right move to go. So we'll, we'll go well beyond that. It's first first step. Thank you so much for the insight. Is this the right way for VW? Tell me in the comments and would you like to have this one here as the all new Volkswagen Polo? And of course, tune in to other new electric models by Volkswagen right now.